Alright then gang, so in the last lesson we created this layout file and this layout file wrapped all of our different page components and the page component content went wherever this slot tag is right here inside the layout file. Now, like I said, this layout component wrapped every single page component that we have. So these two down here about an index, but also those inside the guides folder. And if we were to create other folders and other page components inside those folders, it would wrap those as well. But sometimes different pages on your site might need a different layout. For example, inside the guides folder, all of the different pages inside here, they might want a slightly different layouts. So to do that, we have to make what's known as a reset layout. And that's what we're going to do in this lesson. Now, a reset layout is just basically another layout component and we place it inside whatever folder wants a new layout for those components. So I want it inside this guides folder. So I'm going to create a new file and then instead of it just being called layout.svelte, it's underscore underscore layout.reset. Dot svelte. And this tells SvelteKit that, hey, for this folder, we want to reset the layout and use this one right here instead. So what I'm actually going to do is go to the other layout component that we have, and I'm going to copy all of that and paste it all in here because it is going to be very, very similar. But what I'm going to do is, as well as having a title up here in the header, I want a few links. So let me do a div with a class of links. And then inside that, we're going to do an anchor tag and that's going to be to the home page and it will say home and then we'll do another couple so one will be to forward slash about and that's about and then over here we'll say forward slash guides and then over here guides all right so now i have these links and then down here i want to style the links and the anchor tags so let me place these two selectors right here, one for the links div and then one for anchor tags. Margin left is auto on the links and that means because the header displays as flex, these links are going to go all the way over to the right of the header and then for each anchor tag we have a margin left of 10 pixels. All right, so that's pretty much it as far as this new layout is concerned. Now we still need to do these imports, the title and the styles because if we don't do the styles, first of all, then when this layout component is loaded for one of these pages, we're not going to get those global styles take effect because now we're not using this one. And also we need to import this because we're using the title down here. All right then, so that is pretty much it. So now if we go to the index and about page, they should use this component, this layout component. But if we go to this index component or this hello page, they should use this layout reset instead. And in fact, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to update this because no longer is it going to be dot dot forward slash then into the stars folder because now we're inside the guides folder. So we need to come out of two folders. So dot dot forward slash to come out of guides, then same again to come out of the routes folder, then into styles, then global.css. All right, so let's see if this works. All right, so it definitely looks different. We have all of these links over here. And if we go to the about page, we still get the old layout. But when we go to the guides page, we get this new layout instead where this is on the left and this is all the way over on the right. Now, it doesn't look amazing at the minute. So let's go back, maybe change it a little bit just to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to say the header is not going to display as flex. Instead, we'll wrap all of this stuff inside the header itself in a nav. So let me do this nav like so. And then I'm going to paste in some styles for the nav down here. We'll come back to those in a second. But what I'm going to do is cut all this stuff and place it inside the nav, right? So now the header, we're not displaying as flex. So let's get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. And instead we'll just say text align center like so. And then down here, we'll give it a background color. So background is going to be RGBA. And then it's zero, zero, zero. And we need commas in between each of those. And then finally, the alpha channel 0.1, that makes it kind of transparent. So now we don't have the header displaying as flex, but now the nav surrounds these things right here. And that is displaying as flex. Align items to the center, max width 960 pixels, margin zero and auto. So I think that might be 
a bit better. So let me save this now and check it out in the browser. All right then, so that looks a lot better now. So now we can see this nav bar at the top with that slightly darker background, title over here, links over here. And if we go to one of these other pages, like about, we still get the old layout, same for the home page as well. But as soon as we go to the guides page, we get this new layout. And also if we go to guides forward slash hello, which is that other component inside the guides folder, it should get this layout as well. Awesome.